There are many activities to help students with the memorization of addition and subtraction facts. First, students need to acquire some basic addition strategies. One important addition strategy is counting on. One, two, three from any given number. For example, eight plus two can be thought of as eight, nine, ten. Another strategy students need to become familiar with is doubles and doubles plus one. Four plus four and four plus five are examples of this strategy. Using the commutative property is another important strategy for students to master. Addition with nines is one less than ten. For example, nine plus four is ten plus four minus one. As students move on to subtraction, they quickly learn that subtraction facts are related to addition facts and that they can use some of the same strategies. Teachers may help students practice their facts by making combinations to 10 using a 10 frame. These are three such examples. A 10 frame is good because we're going to look at the black squares and combine them with the white squares to make 10. So this one would be 5 plus 5 equals 10, 9 plus 1 equals 10, 2 plus 8 equals 10. With the commutative property, we can say the reverse, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Let's look at a way to practice fact families. Students will need a great deal of work with fact families, and one good way is to use triangular flashcards. If we cover up one part of the triangle, then we practice 4 plus 2 equals, and then we guess 6, and we check if we are right. To practice missing add-ins, we can cover up another part of the triangle, 2 plus something equals 6. We guess 4. We lift it off and see if we're right. An addition chart helps kids understand the facts 1 through 20. If I were to add 6 plus 5, I would find 6 and 5, and where they meet, the answer is 11. Because of the identity property of 0, kids learn that 0 plus anything is that same thing. 0 doesn't change anything, so we're going to cross out those facts. 1's, 2's, and 3's are counting on numbers. So we're going to cross out those facts because kids can develop strategies for 1's, 2's, and 3's as they count on. And those are pretty easy for kids to do. And the more they practice them with this strategy, the more it's easier to remember them. Now we're looking at an addition chart that's been narrowed down considerably, but let's do some more work. We're going to cross out the tens because tens are easy for kids. 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 plus 6 is 16. We're going to cross out the nines because we're going to look at nines as if we were adding to 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 9 plus 4 is 1 less or 13. We're also going to look at doubles. For some reason, children have a very easy time of remembering doubles. 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 6, 7 plus 7, and 8 plus 8. And 9 plus 9 and 10 plus 10 as it goes on down. We're also going to look at doubles plus 1. We think 4 plus 5 is really 4 plus 4 plus 1 more. So doubles plus 1 are the diagonal next to doubles, and we're going to cross those out. Now we have something that is the mirror image of this side. And if we use the commutative property, which says 2 plus 8, for example, is the same as 8 plus 2, we can cross this side out right here. Now we've narrowed our facts down to, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. With our 10 frames, we've learned that 4 plus 6 is 10. So we have five facts that are actually hard to memorize. Students need to understand the concepts of addition and subtraction and the difference between the two operations. In addition, time tests are appropriate after students have acquired some strategies and are flexible in using them.